go old school real quick. I need one person to stand up and give me a testimony about what he's done for you all this week. Can I get one? Matter of fact, y'all don't want to, I will. I'm going to tell you I'm happy in Jesus today. I'm happy in God for what he's doing in my life. Not just because my family is back together. Mm -hmm. I said I wasn't going to do that. I'm thankful for God and what he's doing in my life. It might not mean much to you all, but my son, Monday morning, will start high school as a freshman. And I'm excited because I thank God that he's kept him and wrapped him even when I didn't know what I was doing as a parent. God kept him in his hands. And I say that to say it is so many young black men that are lost running these streets of Greenwood, Dogtown. Come on. So I'm thankful that God has allowed him to stay wrapped and tangled in Jesus. And he knows who he is. I'm excited that, that again, he's a freshman in high school. Not on drugs, not hanging out in the streets, Amen. but he knows who God is. My son knows how to pray. My son knows how to read the word. So I'm thankful for God for that alone on today. Amen. So as they say, if you know the words of prayer, please continue to pray my strength and my family's strength in the Lord. Amen. Lord, I'm
this evening as humbly as I know how, giving you thanks and blessing your holy name. I thank you for being the Father of our Lord and our, our Savior, Savior Jesus the Christ. Because he is the only means by which we can be saved. I come knowing that Jesus is the King of Kings. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. Now, Heavenly Father, I invite your Holy Spirit into this service and into our hearts. Heavenly Father, I pray for a special anointing on this evening for this special, special service. I pray for an anointing on every musician that plays an instrument tonight at the glory of your name. I pray for every group, every singer, I pray for a special anointing that the voices will be clear, that the voices will praise your name, that everything will be done decently and in order. Because we know, Heavenly Father, that you do all things well. I pray a blessing on the waiting congregation. I pray a blessing on this church. I pray for a blessing on the Curtis family. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that your Holy Spirit will be with us throughout this evening. And, Heavenly Father, as we sing praises to your holy name, if there will be one that does not know you as their Savior, I pray that they will come running, saying, what do I need to do to be saved? So we just want to thank you for being here this evening. We know that your Holy Spirit is with us because we have felt it already. We know that the Holy Spirit is here on this evening. And we just want to thank you one more time. Even if we had 10,000 tongues, we could not thank you enough for what you have done and for what you are about to do. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't know about y'all, but we had church and rehearsals. Because we acted like we had church and rehearsals. Y'all know we cut the food tonight. Again, it was cut out, so I'm going to say it again. We had church in rehearsal. So if you had church in the rehearsal, what do you think we're going to do tonight? All of, you know, all of you know what we're here for. You know the purpose. And, and Aunt Margie is going to go over all of that. But Uncle Darnell, I'm filled because my family's back together again. I'm happy I can look across the way and I can see Darius, Margie, Sheree, Gary. I can see Aunt Nancy's kid. Look who just blew it. Cut. I'm gonna get out of the way. I promise you. I, I, I'm looking at the clock, and I'm looking at the clock too for one for myself, because I still gotta be to work at midnight. But I told them that I'm going to be in church, so if I'm late, y'all can deduct my pay. I don't care what you do, because I know that I'm going to get it on the back half. Right. But I'm looking at the clock, because I'm looking at who's here and what we're supposed to do. But y'all, I'm sorry. This is my family. Y'all don't got to get excited. This is my family. These are all my kinfolk. This is all my blood. Pieces of my blood running through these. Y'all right, don't get it. I ain't going to worry about it. Um, where's, where's, where's that, Marcy? Where's Come on. 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 Come on.
Pedro, vamos me surpreender. Não, eu não sei, mas o Você tinha que vir chão. Você não? I don't see but one. Let me call the secret office and see what's going on here. I said, come on, Lord. Come on, Lord. Call the secret office. Guess what? It would be race. And I said, thank you. And guess what? The highest one would be race. I'm going to put the race out for the race.
started in 1958. It all happened because a few of the Johnson children, brothers, sisters, and cousins, were often in the home of their grandparents, Thomas and Maisie Johnson, and they liked to sing together. So Maisie Taylor Handy, who was the oldest of these grandchildren, would play the piano, and the younger cousins would sing. At that time, Maisie Handy was playing for a family group called the Johnson Singers, which consisted of Maisie Handy, Emma James, Helen Johnson, and Margie Dickerson. Weldon Johnson had taught himself to play the piano with the help of God, so he started playing for the younger family members who became known as the Johnson X. The group was made up at that time of Maisie Handy, who was 22 years old, Weldon Johnson, age 13, Emma Johnson, age 11, Helen Pookie Johnson, age 9, Linda Taylor, age 6, and Carolyn Johnson, age 5. Other cousins later joined and sang with the Johnsonettes, including Sandra James Horsey, Mary James Jones, Maurice James, Alan Jasper Handy, Jr., Rodney Harris, Sr., Valentina Johnson Downing, Jacqueline Johnson, and Janet Banks. The Johnson have sang together for almost 40 years from South Carolina to New York with Mr. Willie Baker and Mr. Ed Coppin transporting them to and from various singing engagements. After the passing of evangelist Emma Harris and sister Maisie Handy, the group sort of fizzled out and stopped singing together and celebrating anniversaries. There were some wonderful years and the precious memories will remain in our hearts forever until we all one day will sing a new song in the heavenly choir.
so I'm grateful to, for us to be here. And again, this is for memorabilia's sake. Um, nobody's making any money off of this. Um, however, I want to give thanks to my video guy, um, Dre, come, come out of Baltimore. Um, my my uh, reporting guy, Eric Bailey, I'm going to give hands. Um, um, thanks out to him. Um, Brother Emerson, Emerson um, who's done sound tonight. I want to give thanks out to him. I'm glad to see my Uncle Don now. I'm glad to see all, I mean, really, my, my Aunt Alethea, I mean, we, these, I mean, um, I, you know, we, yeah. these people, um, I grew up um, listening and learning from. I'm glad to see my father here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is our good, awesome, my Aunt Nancy, um, people who have, um, so, see, he's not here, but um, for the video purposes, Uncle Weldon, we love you. Yeah. Yeah. Give a shout out to Uncle Weldon. He is on the seas, and we pray in God's feet for him, because Isaac is somewhere along the seas in Jesus' name. So we got no people, right? Oh, Lord. But he's covered by the blood, but I am grateful um, to see my Uncle George um, and the queen of, uh, um, and I, I would say this, uh, my Aunt Margie is just a sweet heart. Give her love and homage. She don't want to do it. I do it. I love her. I love her. And um, we, um, Pastor, thank you. Thank you for opening up this house. I want to, uh, uh, this is our family house. But you are, you are the head prelate, and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for allowing us to share in this in this kingdom and, and and you know we just love my cousins I want my cousin um, Terrell I love you um, my my first cousin I mean y'all I love this boy this boy um, my first cousin uh, um, Tyrone Downey killing on keys I love him I love him my cousin Greg he don't want to you don't want me to say it but he's awesome he's an awesome minstrel. You know, um, um, Pipsy, he makes that guitar talk like nobody can make it talk. And y'all saw him tonight in the form of singing, Ray, but Ray is an awesome minstrel. And we love him. Um, and, and what I want you all to do um, is pray for our families. Pray for us. Amen. Oh, my God. Hallelujah! Devil is a liar tonight. We defeated him tonight. Hallelujah! Woo! Ah! I know we gotta go. Ah! Ah!
Oh my God. So listen. One big shout out for Jesus. Give me one hit. Ah! That's not a
I know he's a miracle worker. My mom and my aunt Nancy to see him work. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Donna to see him work. But what I'm telling you, in other words, in other words, listen, the word of God, God is good. It works. God is still God. From 20-some years ago when I was a young boy, when we used to see him, we used to see him. So don't forget God, people. Don't forget God. Praise, don't forget. You can't forget him. Forget what you heard. All this, all this modern day stuff, uh-uh. It's all, it's, it's good. Yeah. Peter stuff and all that's good, but you're going to need the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. We're going to need Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to need Jesus in this last day. We're going to need God. And thank God for this. If I had a million tongues, I couldn't thank him enough. Thank God for this. Uh, my Uncle Thomas. He's probably not here. He's probably on the phone. In, in, in the trip, but you know what? I love him. Uncle Thomas, just for the video, we love you, man. We love you. I was with him um, two weeks ago, and I was telling him, I said, man, we're going to party. We're going to party for Jesus when I next time I see him. We gonna, and he got to laugh. He said, all right. I said, I said Uncle Thomas, we're going to party with you. He said, okay. Like, what is he talking about? I said, all right. 92 years old. God is blessed. 91. All right, come on. God knows I love you all. I can keep talking. We got to go home. Uh, we going to go home. Do we, do we miss anybody? Y'all aren't you? Reverend. Donna. Bishop Hutt. Can, can you say just one thing? Um, Bishop Hutt, please come say one thing. I remember this man used to come to my house and pray for us. Pray that we have God's speed on our lives. And he's made, listen. I'm going to say this while I'm living. He's made so, I'm say it like it. He's made so many people rich in their ministries of flourishing, right, as we speak. Keep them in your prayer. Amen. Say something, Uncle Donnell, we can get out of here. Come on, you go.
October the 21st, if God says so, you'll be 91 years old. Amen. And we got a lot to be thankful for. Amen. He is quiet spirited, but the blood of Jesus keeps him covered. Oh, yes. And he is saved by the blood of Jesus. Yes. So keep on praying for him, and we expect to try to get him out before, <laughs> before this weekend is over. Amen. God bless you, and we hope to see you again real soon. Reverend, would you come and give us the benediction? Anybody else have anything else to say? Nobody. Down to him who is able to do abundantly and exceedingly above all. Above all that we can ask or think, be glory, be dominion and power, and forever and ever, let the church say, Amen. Amen. Amen.